a 25-year-old Anishinaabe from Wasoxi Nation on Georgian Bay, Ontario. Pegamagabo volunteers just days after war is declared. He carries a medicine bag meant to protect him, a gift from an elder. Pegamagabo is an uncommonly good shot, sniper material. He dashes through no man's land, eluding enemy gunners. <laughs> Patient. Focused. Motionless. He waits for just the right shot. You have to have a completely different psyche to be a sniper. They will go to extreme lengths, climbing inside the carcass of a dead horse and waiting for two days to, to, to make that one kill. Not every soldier wants to do that. Not every soldier can do that. I think that's what sets them apart. Pegamagabo establishes his reputation as a formidable warrior. In the next four years, he racks up 378 sniper kills, more than any other Allied or German soldier. The average lifespan of a sniper in World War I was about six weeks, if you're lucky. Francis survived the whole, not just survived the whole war, but became the deadliest sniper of that war. His courage at Ypres earns him the military medal, an honor he's awarded twice more during the war making him the most decorated indigenous soldier in Canadian military history.